let's go over the second event so we got the fire bug open this is going out in i believe this is, what the heck was it? where am i where am i where am i okay it was germany okay making sure it was germany it was i was like i don't want to talk back and press it again sorry forget you so we have the fire bug open gt let's go so let's go into our orc player here ended up doing very well even though it's down here, don't worry about it. Uh, there's it was a very big event. Did I even go over how many players there were? Sorry, guys, I should should have been clear about that. There was 160 players, so pretty big event. I appreciate that. So great job getting 17th out of that many players is still highly respectable. He ended up only dropping one game. So let's go over Roman Keebler's list. We got let's go Roman. We got damage is all we need. Okay, okay, buddy. Let's see what's up. So he has Captain Bad Rug, Mazrog Scrag Bag. Not one, but two knobs on Smash. Squigs. We have Ed Wapa's Kill Chopper on one and Cunning Bub Brujo. You know what I actually do like about this combo? I understand Follow Me Lads, trust me. You probably couldn't afford it. I understand the appeal to Follow Me Lads, but just keep in mind, if you're ever running Cunning Bub Brujo, the appeal here is this knob unit with Squigs goes first. You, know, you might reserve the other one, or you might only be able to hide one of them you'd hide the one with edwapa's kill chopper but the cunning but brutal one goes up in there gets into a skirmish draws attention gets in a fight whatever it may be yet because he has cunning but brutal he can fall back and charge or shoot but let's say there's only one guy in the unit you can fall back and do an action that's really the appeal there as well so because you can shoot you can fall back and still do an action so people forget that because they're so focused on offensive potential this ends up being a both potential you get in there you fight once you're deteriorated if there's nothing else to fight or you, there's too much space in the way because now it's the wall turn and everything else maybe wants to go and you're like oops i don't have anything to score with and i only have one guy in this unit and he's hurt and it's just an anomaly fall back and just let me just fall back and just score the secondary real quick so that's just a flex option we have the war boss just one on foot and then war boss in mega arm and here is follow me like three trucks one flash gate unit two gretchen units one unit of mega knobs with twin kill saws i'm really into twin kill saws i always say why the additional ap the additional strength being able to re-roll wounds when you have dev wounds is kind of nice when you need it um but really the minus three ap is really what puts me over that edge that i need it um because it's just one of those things that we already lack ap for the most part being able to put people at minus three ap really feels different um especially when you have the war boss in the unit to give him plus one to hit anyways then you have the knobs with the power claws my favorite scapula unit followed by two units of storm boys and one i mean squig hog boys and one storm boy unit that's it just one storm boy unit so you can see he brought about four big missiles and then uh flash gets that are not an, a missile but they're shooting potential and he just said here i go the trucks all have something killy in it the stuff that's not in trucks is our killy as well i love it he's crazy um he just said i'm just gonna go for it and i'm gonna bring all the hate and he did yet yeah, he took an alice first matchup and let's talk about it so he went into thousand sun thousand suns are quite challenging for orcs in some missions and some games so don't feel bad that you lost it you know it just it happens so we have ottoman and then exalted sorcerer on disc of each i actually pulled that up because i've seen this all the time and i just thought it'd be interesting to go over make sure it looks good enough for you guys yeah okay so units in that so I'm, while this model is leading a unit as a four up in vol, he has binding tendrils. At the end of your movement phase, you can select one enemy unit within 18 inches and visible to this psyker. Roll one D6 on a one. The psych psyker blows himself up. No, just kidding. Takes D3 mortals. On a two plus until the start of your next movement phase, that enemy unit is bound. While the unit is bound, half the movement characteristics of that unit and half the advance and charge rolls, right? It's not reduction just by two. And you're like, here I go, boys. We're just, gonna, you know, here we go instead and just ignore that. They're like, no, no, right? So that hurts. We'd really hate that um it is cool that they have to roll for it but dang that hurts right and rubric marines rubric marines are what they go into as for his output sorry guys i'll get in the way as for his actual output you know nothing too crazy here he does have the arcane fire that's you know can hit or miss because it's d6 and he does fight all right into orcs but it's really about the reduction then let's look at infernal master because he has that as well so for the infernal master while this unit while this model is leading a unit weapons in uh weapons equipped by models in that unit have a sustained one once per turn you can change the result of a hit one wound roll or one damage roll or one saving roll made by this model to an unmodified six so i just wanted to pull that up just because that's what was on this list as well um so let's keep going over his unit because he ended up having two of those dudes on uh, disc of siege so he's able to uh, reduce mobility on two different units just keep in mind squig hog boys will ignore that and then he also has two infernal masters three infernal masters and then magnus to red so he does have the rubric marine unit one two three four there you go so he just brought a bunch of infantry like we talk about all small units a unit of thousand sons rhino just one 
a cultist unit, another cultist unit, and Zangor and Lightning. So he brought as many bodies as he could. Nothing too, you know, killy or anything. This really much does come down to the guy being very efficient with what he has. He does have Magnus to red. That's really his only thickness. So I did find it very interesting. I would like to know what the mission is um, that he lost this one just because he brought so much, you know, killing potential against a glass cannon unit. And I know they have the ability to just throttle and kill as well. But um, it is very interesting to me that he took this this loss. Um, but it could be just that that guy's just a great player and the mission didn't favor it as all. Well. Uh, but Thousand Suns are one of those armies that you need to be aware of, which is why I pulled up the Exhausted uh, Sorcerer on this data sheet so you guys can see for yourselves how that ends up working out. And T-Suns are an army you have to kind of keep an eye out for if there's a one in your meta that's running around just trying to do all the damage. Because we have one too. Shout out to Dave, who uh, ended up being at the top tables at Adepticon this last weekend. You know, shout that's one that's my T Sun guy around here. So be aware of what they can do as they are a difficult army that can throttle damage into orcs and reduce and mitigate their movement. Magnus can get everywhere all over the table, wherever he wants, whenever he wants, um, and isn't easy to kill. Even if you bring the most killy unit, still with he can still go hard in the paint, um, and he can still clap back sometimes, right? So it might come down to a little bit of luck because, like, obviously the T Sun's player needs to actually roll a two plus stuff like that. Um, so Shout out to Roman. No, no shame in losing the T Suns. They're very strong, very difficult. So let's go. Then we have his second matchup. So after that loss, he said, I got to get redemption. I got to get 100 points. We have Astra Militarum, Gaunt's Ghost, Lord Soliantis, Platoon Command Squad, and then Ursula Creed. She can give multiple orders, which I think is cool. Um, Cadian Shock Troops. Sorry, I went over these guys way too fast. So the Gaunt's Ghost guys can actually infiltrate, I believe. And they also have the sniper in there. So be careful if you have a little soft character like a three wound model. We have Lord Solo Leontis that can give orders but he can also give orders to tanks which is unique and then he can project this uh, platoon command squad can actually project order then we have a cadian shock troop unit a cattle chan jungle fighter unit and a death Guard creek unit okay i like the mix up kind of fun chimera a basculus which are definitely very very problematic for orcs if they're you know ever get disembarked uh, then you just reduce their movement after that from him a big unit of bulgren a field ordinance battery a Kazakhan, two Kazakhan units, a Lehman Run Battle Tank, and a Lehman Rush Battle Tank, a Lehman Rush, Rush Vanquisher, a Manticore, one Ogren Bodyguard, and a Scout Sentinel. I would like to, slash not actually like to, see more transports and or Sentinels on this list to kind of get more board presence, really throttle that indirect as you can to help pop the Orc transports if you could, because one Manticore isn't popping enough, but you could pop one, reduce its mobility for the Baskalus, boom, and staging, but yet what's actually standing and holding in the middle um once these uh bulgren you know get run over and if they do they are difficult for orcs keep in mind but we've seen the list that he brought and the list was straight damage so if you're going to bring straight damage you can straight up run over bulgren just volume of dice is always key baby boys remember that two kazarkin they're coming off the table edges if you're just keeping that pressure and not letting them come off the table edges that helps or they're going to scout but i don't necessarily see them scouting on this matchup they don't have chimeras to actually disembark either so sometimes they'll just come out side the table try to give themselves an order sometimes they'll be near ursula get orders from her to try to compound orders so it is what it is but this guy's close to the meta version but that's one of those things that i talk about when you're going into you know imperium they have a bunch of the tools to do it but if they don't have the most top tier rules of it and they're just playing just a little outside of it orcs just kind of run them over after that not that they can't beat us it's just that they have to bring all the tools to beat us so going into this third matchup which is another astro Militarum. but before that i want to give a shout out to wicked joe for 10 wall tactic gifted memberships Whoa, let's go with you wicked joe i appreciate you getting the, the rise of the green tide bigger and bigger let's go i appreciate it fantastic very generous of you as always and it was nice to see you at adepticon and hang out for a bit you get so hit me up then we have um oh sorry we, as i was going here so shout out to wicked joe i better not see no normal gets in my chat right now because you know there's not a ton of y'all and i see some of you guys looking like umis in here go ahead and uh you know collect that membership so wicked joe could say what's up we're gonna be doing a raffle here too guys remember on uh lex on friday let's go um i was in a third matchup right yeah i was in a third matchup so do -do roman third matchup so he had yeah this is the one okay so he had lord soul a pl platoon command squad a tank commander another tank commander and ursula creed catachan unit just one two units of bulgren 
one, two, three units of Kazarkin, two, three Manticores, two Scout Sentinels. Let's go. So it was actually getting a little closer to what I was talking about just right before this, right? It's like, ooh, here we go. Um, bringing one Basilisk might actually be the key here. Uh, they're a bit cheaper and they can end up reducing movement on Orcs once you actually pop them. Scout Sentinels help with that as well. So this was a, this is what you would consider a tougher Orc matchup because these tanks can end up giving orders to the other tanks. Um, sorry, are there any more other tanks in here? Actually, I think that's what's missing on them. Oh, they can give orders to the manticores but that means they're kind of hanging out in the back too right um so this list kind of seems to fall apart if you punch through the bulgren because the the tank commanders want to sit near the manticores and so does lord solo liantis and then there's three manticores back there you also do have the two scout sentinels but you got to be careful with them because you're choosing either i'm throwing away for scoring or i'm going to try to help my indirect fire because it's not you're not getting both with orcs you're getting run over after that and then they're leapfrogging you kazarkin in this matchup you might want to consider just maybe scouting in that because because orcs are going to be filling up the table. You know, Kazarkin can do crazy damage when they come off the side of the table too. Being able to get double order stacking feels really good with Ursula. She's on this list, right? With Ursula Creed. So we're definitely not sleeping on Kazarkin or Guard in this matchup, but mission definitely matters. Um, I know some people just aren't into that many Bulgren because of that reason. They don't have a ton of, you know, OC and everything. So it is what it is, but it was a, that's a, that's a tough, that's a tough win. So shout out to Roman. I'm really, in, I'm really impressed with that. That's very cool. Um, great job there because that was a tough Astromel Tarm list. Not going into his fourth matchup making sure this right one we have the world leaders so the world leaders coming back trying to get crumped so we have angron Karn the betrayer Karn the betrayer can fight on death be aware of that for free pretty annoying um lord invocatus and then or sorry i said his name correctly avocado lord and then world eaters with master of execution so interesting to see that we have you know when i'm looking here it's you know you don't see favorite of corn which is kind of what you want to see um and for it makes angron come back a lot more reliably because if he comes back much more difficult game if he doesn't come back you're kind of like okay pff, i got off on you peace out bro so we have jackals corn the berserkers another corn berserker squad uh the big squad is definitely for the the fight first world leaders master of execution and then the small unit of corn berserkers is for karn because he's meant to just run in there and then if he dies it's there we go right um then he fights on death so we have two rhinos one free to those units one unit of basic eight bound just remember the basic eight bound sometimes it can be used as like a passive um you know buffing unit because they have an aura of reroll once to wound and people seem to kind of forget that exalted sorcerer i'm mean, sorry girls, what the heck exalted eight pound three <laughs> three twenty it's a big unit uh another exalted eight bound unit for 160 and then a chaos spawn it is what it is um with this list he went for a couple more zerkers you can see their lists are quite quite pricey um and then they you know i'm not sure if both of these guys are still where you want them to be not that they're bad by any means it's just when you're going against orcs you're like dude you're just essentially in power armor i'm gonna fight you in death i'm gonna crump you flash gets are gonna pick you up if i can um stuff like that so like i said i gotta get rid of some of these lists that are up here because we have my boy so we had you know flash gets in my opinion are really good in this matchup they help kind of deal with the master of execution sometimes you're like i'm just gonna pick that guy up um you know or if you have to kill karn stuff like that giving them the ability to shoot away their screens or to overwatch them so taking advantage of your flash gets understanding that you got to kill Angron and he might come back but if he doesn't because they don't have favor to corn it's all good that matters greatly in this matchup but orcs have been showing over and over again they can do well in that matchup now his and that was a 96 point win then his second to last game he has the necrons with the silent king uh, hypercrypt with the silent king let's go so we have the silent king Oh, just the Silent King. He said, King of my castle. That's his list name. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four units of immortals with Tesla carbines. Only five men. Canoptic spider, flayed ones, a locust destroyer, three monoliths, and a tomb blade. So he's straight up just like, here I go. Um, The Silent King gets a, a plethora of little different buffs. He gets to ignore modifiers and things like that if he has to. Um, it's just one of those things that this list doesn't necessarily have enough volume of damage. And orcs could hypothetically, hypothetically kill this monolith, especially if you're bringing a list that's all damage. But at the same time, you know, they can actually occupy the table and just I'll play you on the mission too. Uh, the monolith can be annoying, but if the orc player did go first, he can just start taking them out, you know, taking up the space that he kind of chooses to and needs. And we're not sure which mission that was either. So the mission would matter here too. Not that it's an easy matchup, but it's a crazy skew. Uh, so he, that was a 72 point win. It's not an easy game by any means. Still difficult matchup because it's such a weird, crazy skews. And like I always tell people when they ask me about skews, skews are good to get you like 
at least three and two sometimes because you're just straight stat checking people coming crazy in with it. But people are going to have tools to beat you. Uh, sometimes just some factions just have the tools built in. Sometimes you're just around to get like Roman and he's just going to be like, yeah, that's cool. You got all that. But I can actually kill you because I brought all damage um, and I can also play the mission. So, hey, what's up? And then you have his last but certainly not least in his matchups, the Adeptus Sororitas. So like I said, you need another rule, boy, because if you don't, it's going to be tough. We have a Palatine, St. Celestine, and the Triumph of St. Catherine. So we have the Battle Sisters, Rhino, Rhino, one, two, there we go. Two fat units of Arcoflagellants, one small unit of Arcoflagellants, two Castigators, two Crusaders, an Exorcist, a Penitent Engine, another Penitent Engine, a unit of Repentia, Seraphon, 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 um, and Zeph. Look at that. Like I said earlier, when we're talking about faction versus faction, just a booty load of units. Um, the Castigators are also great for popping Orc Transports and picking up Squigs, stuff like that. Arcoflagellants put a dumb amount of volume of punches into Orc units. It's not like Mega Knobs in my opinion can actually kind of withstand that for a bit but you don't want to really risk <laughs> don't really want to risk it you know that's where it's you're like hey i'm gonna place these flash guns here if i can i'm gonna overwatch them when they come out but then it's still not a reliable trade because how cheap these guys are so i would definitely like to see what went on here in this matchup um it was a bit off not the most uh you know high you know version of the sisters of battle list that i've ever seen but it is still really good doesn't have morgan fall the triumph is pretty good for those reliable sixes saint celestine still pretty decent you know stuff like that so still a very interesting list sisters still have a dumb amount of units you know it's really weird as an orc player to look at a power armor army and be like why are there more of you than us why, why are there so many of you what's going on here i thought we were the horde but either way roman handled his business here so shout out to roman kalibler I'm not saying her name, bro. Sorry. Roman, shout out for the great war for Roman. Let's go. So he got five wins, one loss. I appreciate you. You get great job with the all damage list because damage is all we need, right? Let's get stuck in. If you enjoyed the clip, check out the full video here. If you'd like to see more tactics, click here.